Hi, my name is Ian with PA Industries, and today we'll be looking at how to use our speed performance chart to figure out optimal parameters for your operation. If you are setting up your feeder for the first time, creating a new tool for a new operation, or having sync fault issues on a current operation, then using our speed performance chart could be very beneficial. To begin, navigate to our website, www.pa.com. From the front page, move your mouse over products, and from the drop-down menu, click on feeding equipment. On the next web page, select Servo Feeds. At this point, you should see a list of our various types of servo feeders. Select the type of servo feeder that you are working with. For demonstration purposes, I will be selecting the PA K350 Advantage servo feed. In the box labeled Related Documents, there are speed charts for standard and metric units. Select the file to match the units of your application. This will start a download of the Excel file. Once it has completed its download, open the Excel file to find our speed performance chart. The speed performance chart takes into account the operation velocity, acceleration, feed length, and feed window, and gives the maximum strokes per minute the press will be able to operate at under those given conditions of the feeder. With any operation, the feed length should be set first, since this is the only variable we cannot change. While there is a list of different feed lengths, you are not confined to these values. Select a cell with a feed length near your operation and change the value to the feed length you have. The chart will adapt on its own. Next, decide what your feed window for your operation will be. Typically, we recommend around 180 degrees. At this point, you can see what the current maximum strokes per minute you will be able to run with our standard parameters of velocity and acceleration. If your desired operating speed falls under the maximum value here, your operation should run smoothly. If your desired operating speed is above the current maximum value, then adjustments will need to be made to the acceleration and or speed. In my example here, you can see that currently, at a feed length of 2.3 inches and a feed window of 180 degrees, I can achieve an operation that runs up to 175 strokes per minute. But for demonstration purposes, let's say I need my operation to run at 200 strokes per minute. Unless you are running an operation with a long feed length, the velocity will make little difference. Most often, it is the acceleration that needs to be adjusted. Try increasing the acceleration slowly rather than just cranking it up to the max value. While a high acceleration may definitely be able to handle your operation, it is always recommended to use an acceleration value just high enough for the operation. An acceleration that is too high could cause other feeding issues. Also, it is important to note that whatever value you set your acceleration to, your deceleration value should be set to as well. Here I will begin by increasing my acceleration from 400 inches per second squared to 450 inches per second squared. You can see that my max strokes per minute has increased to 184. Now I will increase the acceleration once again. This time I will increase by 100 inches per second squared to 550 inches per second squared. My max strokes per minute is now 201, which is just above my target. However, while we do not want to be greatly over our target, it is good to have a bit more of a buffer. So I will increase the acceleration once more to 600 inches per second squared. There, now the maximum speed at which I can run my press is 209 strokes per minute, which should handle my required 200 strokes per minute with no problems. Just to quickly demonstrate that velocity does not affect our outcome at these smaller feed lengths, I will increase the velocity to 100 inches per second. As you can see, our max strokes per minute did not change at all. The feed windows can be adjusted as well. 
Let's say 270 degrees is too much for your operation, but your operation can handle 220 degrees for a feed window. You can change the feed window cells the same way you change the feed lane. Doing so will update the field on its own. Play around with these parameters until you find the perfect settings for your operation. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions, you can call us at the number on screen here. Thank you and goodbye.